you travel fans. We're in beautiful Lake Minnewasta in beautiful Morton Campground, Manitoba. We're very excited. I'm going to be doing a little fishing. I've got my boat here and off we're going to go. But first, we're going to have a look at the brand new 2019 Serenity and look behind me. It is spectacular. I think if you're looking for a small motorhome, 24 feet, 6 inches in length, 8 foot wide, 10 feet, 3 inches in height, and you want to have four passengers, you want to be able to sleep four, you want to be incognito or stealth, no slide outs, the beautiful curved walls, curved glass, curved compartment doors, brand new on the 2019, we have a one touch legless awning, built in lights, which is great, LED lights, turn it on, hit the button, out it goes. So as you can see, it's seven feet wide and almost 13 feet long, no more legs. It's wind censored, so we get a big gust of wind, it's automatically gonna go up. Kind of a windy day here at Lake Minnewasta, but the awning's out, it's a beautiful awning. I have lots of room underneath the awning, I love it, but let's simulate this, so let's just say a big gust of wind comes up. Boom, up it goes, very smart. This is one beautiful motorhome. If you're looking for a small motorhome, this has got everything you could want. But let's start off with the uh, mirrors. They pop in place like this in case you're in a tight area. I love the doors. We always use the Mercedes-Benz swivel bases. Look at this. Is there anything easier than that for turning a swivel? I don't think so. Look how we contour the body into the chassis. All the lines match up, it looks great. This is a fiberglass wall, so it's built like a Corvette or a boat, so the walls are all fiberglass, molded fiberglass. We're vertically integrated at our factory, we build all the fiberglass parts ourselves, so we control the quality of it. And you can see the beautiful paint job. We have three different exterior colors. This is the Eurosport, we have the champagne and the silver. 16,000 BTU furnace, we've got our step up here we've got our we have our camping mode in place so we can turn that off step will automatically go up don't worry if you turn on the ignition the step is down it'll automatically go up as well look at this curved door is that not beautiful curved glass and I love this hidden screen built into the door very, very nice. We're gonna work our way down. Great option to have is the optional stabilizer jacks. It stabilizes the coach, makes it nice and stable, so when you're moving in and out of the motorhome, it's not rocking, so I like that little option. One touch, automatically goes down. If you forget to bring them up, the minute you turn on the ignition, they automatically go up. That's very smart, and they're down. Underneath, you always gotta have storage, right? Even though we have a small motorhome, we have lots of storage. Aluminum compartment door, see how they drop down? Easy access into the compartments. This is all galvanized sheet metal. It's all lined. Underneath, we spray foam it all so no rock damage can happen. It's beautiful, love that. Look how it locks up in place, locks down. Another nice option down below, we have the optional aluminum rims. We have dual wheels on the back, of course on both sides, so more stable when you're going down the road. We're on a 170 inch wheelbase. You can check the inner and the outer tire pressure. They are easy to clean and they got the Durabrite finish on the four outsides and aluminum rims on the inside. So the option gives you six aluminum rims, so no electrolysis, very smart. Fiberglass fender skirts, of course this is full body paint. Three coats of color, each color is painted three times. Second color is painted three times. Two coats of clear. Looks spectacular. But you can never have enough exterior storage. How about some more exterior storage back here? Nice big storage area. Nice and deep, quite high. Of course, the aluminum handcrafted doors. I love that. I love how they lock in place. Seal up real tight. Underneath here, we have the optional sofa bed. You can also have a full-time bed, which gives you a little more storage, but a little storage underneath here as well. And let's talk about the frameless glass. So this is curved frameless glass, awning style, so the window will open out. So if it's raining outside, you can still have the windows open, allow some ventilation going through the motorhome. You don't have to worry about water going into the motorhome. Comes out of California, it's a great product. I love this feature on the Serenity. We've got a built-in barbecue quick connect, so it runs off the main 15 gallon propane tank. You can bring a little barbecue, plug it in there, you don't have to carry a separate propane tank. Now that is very smart. We're at the back of the motorhome. We've got our emergency escape window. We got our integrated backup camera, which is great. LED lights. We have more storage, I love this. Place for my golf clubs. 
full water filtration here, easy access to that, but look how deep this is. Couple sets of golf clubs in there, no problem at all. I love the automotive style lighting. And we have a third brake light as well. Down below, we've got our 5,000 pound receiver hitch and our seven pin connector for towing. So the Mercedes-Benz chassis is a GCWR of 15,250 pounds, minus your wet weight is how much you can tow. We're over on the driver's side of the motorhome now. Let's have a look at the uh, service center at the back of the coach here. Beautiful outside shower. We're at the beach right now, so uh, Cassius, my dog, is gonna be with us pretty soon, and I wanna clean his feet before he goes in the motorhome. I have hot and cold running water. Guys are doing a lot of fishing in the lake, so if they catch some fish, they might wanna clean them outside. Great to have an outside water source. And I love the fact that we've added a water pump switch right here, so I can actually turn on the water pump in case I forgot to turn it on inside, because we're dry camping right now. Just turn on the water pump right here. So when I wanna hook up my uh, shore water, you run the shore water hose up through here, hook it up into here, and then you would close this so nobody can tamper with your water system. So once I hook up my water source, I have a switch right here so I can fill up my water tank. Don't worry if you overfill it, we have an overflow valve, it'll come onto the ground, or you can switch it over to uh, pressure water as well. Propane fill right there, so you take that to a propane fill station, they would fill up your propane tank. Nice little LED light, which we switch from in and out at nighttime when you're hooking in. Propane disconnect switch so I can turn off my propane if I'm going on a ferry or I'm going underneath tunnels. I've also got my cable connection for campgrounds that have cable and also if you have a portable satellite dish you can hook up to here. We also have pre-wiring for a satellite dish up on the roof and we also have an option on the T4 WineGuard satellite dish for 2019 so you can do direct dish or bell off of one satellite dish on the roof. It's called the WineGuard T4. Great little option to have if you love watching TV. Nice option to have on a Serenity is is the optional macerator pump. So I can actually dump uphill if I want. If I have a small one inch line, I can actually, I have one in my home and I can actually dump it home. Make sure you take this off or you'll have an RV experience from the movie RV. <laughs> yes, make sure you take that off first. So very simple, put that into the uh, sewer area, open your block first, turn on the pump. Once it's all been pumped out, then you open up the gray and wash out the line. So big question I always get is what happens if the macerator pump fails? We always include the three inch dump. You would just disconnect the motor, put in the three inch dump and dump manual like you would out of, off of gravity. Simple to hook up your campground. Should take you five minutes to hook up and five minutes to disconnect and be on your way. We work our way down. We've got our generator exhaust pipe and then we have our batteries right here. So two deep cycle six volt batteries, about 220 amp hours in there. So that's easy to access. Check your batteries. Work our way down. We have our optional generator spot right here. So you can have a 3.6 propane generator or a 3.2 diesel generator. A lot of people ask me, which one should I get? Well, if you're doing a lot of dry camp, the diesel is going to give you more time off of 26 gallons of diesel fuel. We have 15 gallons of propane. So that runs off the uh, propane generator as well. So depends on how you RV to which generator that you want to get. So we look up above here, of course, we've got our sexy frameless glass window. And I love the big glass window here that looks into the living room area. Once again, awning style opens up. Truma AquaGo Comfort Plus Hot Water Heater standard on the 2019 Serenity model. I'm gonna tell you why this is the best hot water heater on the marketplace. Simply because when you put it on Comfort Plus, you turn it on here, there's a switch inside. It heats this one liter of hot water, keeps it hot all the time. We have three different water lines, hot water lines going to each faucet. We have the one in the kitchen, one in the bathroom, and of course the shower. When I turn that on, it uses up that one liter of hot water. By that time, the heat exchangers are hot, and then I have continuous hot water. Nothing like having cold water when you're trying to have a shower. Hot water all the time. Truma AquaGo Comfort Plus Hot Water Heater. The best hot water heater in the industry. We've got our 30 amp shore power. I keep the electrical cord right here, nice and easy to connect it on put it back in its place, nice little storage area for a little toolbox. Also standard on the 2019 Serenity is a 1000 watt pure sine wave inverter. That's very important that it's pure sine wave, clean power coming off the batteries when you run the inverter. All of our iPads and computers need clean power so we don't damage anything inside them and they're very expensive so pure sine wave inverter. If you don't got it, you gotta have one. You can see how beautiful the body contours into the chassis. I like this feature, we've got our diesel fill. So you open it up, fill it up, no fumes going to the motorhome. 
when the doors close and lock, nobody can tamper with your diesel fuel. Fiberglass running board, and of course, our mirrors slide into place right here in case you're in a tight area. Let's have a look at the front of the motorhome. Of course, we mentioned earlier, we're powered by the 3500 series Mercedes-Benz Sprinter Cutaway chassis, but look at the aerodynamics. Look how beautiful the lines all tie in. And of course, we've got a fiberglass flex roof up on top, so everything is streamlined. You're like a rocket ship going down the road. 188 horsepower, 325 foot-pounds of torque, three liter V6 turbo engine. Has a five-year, 100,000 mile warranty from Mercedes-Benz on this engine. Also we'll do V20 diesel for all of the states that have the V20 diesel. So this is a beautiful quiet running diesel and it's a clean running diesel so it's collecting all the carbs and burning them off with the DEF solution that you fill right in here. This is your filter for your cabin air. Oil goes in here it's a synthetic oil. So Leisure Travel Van we order a lot of options from Mercedes-Benz for our customers that we think are really great safety features. You want to make sure you see that triangle or the pyramid up there. That is front collision impact assist and lane assist. We ordered the bi -Zeon headlamps. Of course, we have the chrome grille. We've got the fog lamps. We also have auto lights and auto wipers when it starts to rain. Also great safety features to have. I also like the fact that Mercedes-Benz puts a little step here, so I have an easy way to clean my window. You wanna make sure that camera stays nice and clean because that's an information center when you're driving down the road. And if you think this is good looking, wait till we go inside and we have a look at the solid wood cabinets inside and all the great features Features. Come on in, let's have a look. This is going to be hard for you to believe if you haven't seen the Serenity in person. I have two separate living areas. I have a bed area up front and a living area. I have a bed area in the back and a living area. I have a dry bathroom, stand-up shower, separate bathroom, separate sink. So I'm sitting in the back here, look how much room I have. TV in the back, I can actually swivel the TV and face it forward as well. So you can have two sets of conversations going on, one up front, one in the back. I've got built-in reading lights. I have inverted plugs back here. I have USB plugs for charging my phone. Plus look at all these upper cabinets for storage that I have in the back of the Serenity. Once again, we're only 24 feet, six inches. It's seriously hard to believe. Brand new for 2019, we have two different options on the Phoenix Glamour package. We can do the gray uppers or the white uppers, or you can just leave it. So the Serenity wood, it's either solid cherry wood or maple wood. And then of course we have the espresso stain and we have two interior fabric colors on the valences, Mirage and Wheat. But look at this, beautiful, awning style window. You can see how the windows open up, screens on them. And also on the windows, we have daytime shades and nighttime shades, LED lights, and rope lighting up through the cabinets. Look at this big back storage area back here. Lots of cabinets, European hidden hinges. Look at the beautiful curve of the doors, all marked with the stain number of the stain as well. But look at this, soft close locks in place. So these are solid wood cabinet doors. If you put your fingers in here, you can feel the pre-drilling of the wood screwed together, super strong. Love the Serenity, look at this. Hello. So the Serenity comes standard with a full-time corner bed, or you can have the optional power electric sofa bed, which is a nice little feature to have if you wanna have two separate living areas. And new for 2019, our table moves from front to back. So we lock it in place, and we can take our dining room table, we move it back here, lock it in place, and now I've got a little computer desk back here to work on or I can have dinner. So you can see how versatile the table is. Front table, back table, beautiful. I love the versatility on the Serenity for 2019. What a beautiful design this table is. I can put my feet up, I can relax, I can bring this up for a little ottoman as well, watch TV, hang out, of course, with the table, moving front to back. I've got a computer desk, got a little place here to put my phone charging area, inverted plug as well. Now we're gonna make it into a bed because we have two separate sleeping areas on the Serenity. Look how easy this is. So beautiful power sofa a bed look at that so once again you can have it with a full-time bed with a corner bed or you can have the beautiful electric sofa bed so look how much room I have here I'm well over six foot one tall even though I am shrinking and look the white pants still fit 
Look at this. I can even take these cushions off if I want, but look how much room I have. Well over 80 inches, lots of room this way, but 54 inches in width. So great little use of space. Uh, being able to watch TV in bed or working on my computer or above the TV area, we have our electronic area right here. We have some USB charging ports here. We also have a new standard feature on all 2019 Serenis, the WineGuard 2.0 Wi-Fi booster with 4G capabilities. It's also a TV antenna, radio antenna. You turn that on right here and I've got a Wi-Fi booster. It'll come up on your smartphone. It'll say WineGuard or you can buy 4G and you can have your own private hotspot as well. We also have our digital TV. You turn that on right here. So we also have a new option for 2019. It's called the WineGuard T4 satellite dish. This one has that that option so it'll do bell direct and dish all off of one satellite dish you'd put your receiver in here we have an inverted plug so you can connect into it and right here we've got an hdmi plug very nice for my playstation coax connections right here as well so anything electronic right there plug in run it off your tv led lights in the back we have two speakers in the back two speakers in the front and i like this ducted air conditioning it's like uh, 90 degrees today it's hot in here you can see me sweating but air conditioning ducts running through the entire motorhome keeps it cool front bathroom front living area that's really important 15,000 BTU air conditioner up on the roof with a heat pump. We've also got LED lights with dimmable switches. That's new on the Serenity as well for 2019. I love the private dry bathroom. Look at the beautiful curved door. LED lights here in the bathroom. Look at the size of the shower. I'm well over six foot one. You can see I fit in here quite nicely. I love how we have the shower head and everything integrated. We have an on off switch on the shower head for turning off the water. Conserve water smart when you're dry camping. Put all my soap and shampoos built right into the shower led light got a vent right here as you can see we've got our china toilet we've got our built-in washer it's not a bidet but some people have used it as one not me i love this little area here storage we've also got solid countertops we have two different countertops we have antarctica white and brand new carbon for 2019 medicine cabinet place here for your towels chrome faucet we also have a water switch right here for turning your water off and on and we have a gfi plug right here so if you ever have the power goes off always check your gfi plug in the bathroom mirror here for uh getting the clothes on in the morning you can see we've got the leisure shirts on we also have a really great little uh, leisure store on our website get leisure hats and shirts and anything that you want for camping it's quite a great little site go check it out you can actually block off the two sleeping areas i love that little feature to have just hides out of the way. Look at the storage space that you have. Big hanging closet over here. If you look up back over here, we've got our solar controller. So we have two different options for solar, 200 watts or 300 watts. They're a flex panel. They lay flat on the roof. So the controller's right here. Got a place for our table locks in place, but nice big hanging closet. I love how we've hidden the service center behind the doors. Very smart. We've got our optional stabilizer jacks. Here's our controllers for our electric sofa in the back. Our AquaGo Comfort Plus hot water heater control system is right here. We also have our controller for knowing what our tanks are full or empty. So our batteries are fully charged, 13.8. Fresh water is empty, gray is empty, black is empty. Propane has 16% propane. We also have a water pump switch here for turning on our water pump. Optional generator, we have the 3.6 kilowatt propane and or 3.2 kilowatt diesel. You always turn it this way, you'll see it light up. That's the prime, then turn it on. And we also have an hour meter. That's very important because oil changes are based on the amount of hours that you use. We're dry camping, which we are right now. So I would then turn that on if I wanted to watch a movie or charge a phone, charge a computer. That's my inverter. So that switches my batteries over to 110 power and that on off switch is right there. Down below, we need some more storage. Look at this full drawer extension glass. Look at this solid wood. Three big drawers putting your clothes in. I love how they lock into place. Hey, let's have a look at the galley. What a big, beautiful galley area. Solid surface countertops, Corian. We have two different colors. We have the Antarctica white and the carbon. Two burner spark ignition stove with a backsplash. I love the deep stainless steel sink, chrome faucet. Got a garbage can area back here. A lot of people will use this as a, put ice in it, use it to cool down drinks and stuff, or you can use it as a garbage can, flush mount. Stainless steel backsplash. We also have a built-in accessory channel. I really like this, so you can hang things up on here. This is our controller for our uh, air conditioner and for our furnace and our heat pump. So 16,000 BTU furnace, 15,000 BTU air conditioner with a heat 
pump. It also controls the fan. So just like at home, you would just set the temperature, always leave the fans on auto. You can see the air conditioner, the heat, the heat pump, and simply turns off, set the temperature just like at home. And so under the cabinets, we've got LED lights. We've also got an inverted plug right there. If you wanna have a small coffee maker when the inverter is on under a thousand watts, look at the cabinets. Beautiful, big, deep cabinets. I like this full size plate, right? Very important, right? Fits in the cabinet. We double stack so you can put stuff up on top and stuff down below. So great use of space, but look how big they are. Of course, European hidden hinges, solid wood. This is our cherry wood stain with the espresso. We have the Fenix uppers. It's just beautiful. Love the big picture window. And of course we've got our daytime shades and our nighttime shades. Awning style windows, once again, open up. If it's pouring rain outside, you don't have to worry about the rain coming in. So below the galley, we need some storage space. Look at this, pot and pan drawer, more storage. We have full water filtration on all of our units. We talked about that, charcoal filter. Cutlery drawer, look at that, nice. I love this, this is one of my favorite, the reverse curve door. Well, you see it here in the Serenity. Look at this, I love this too. A little pull-up pot and pan drawer. That's very smart use of space. I love it, look at this curved door. Beautiful solid wood. On the other side of the galley, we've got pull-out pantry, of course, yes. I love that. Another little storage area down below. Convection microwave, so a standard microwave. It also does baking as well. And of course, our Dometic 6.7 cubic foot three-way refrigerator. Separate freezer, separate fridge. Runs shore power, so 110 power. Runs 12 volt power and propane. So for our dry campers, that 15 gallons of propane is gonna run that fridge and keep it cold for a long, long time. We've got our filters for our air conditioner, easy to clean right there, LED lighting throughout, and another hanging closet, and I like this, a place to put my shoes, I don't put them in the step well, I'm not going to fall. Over here you can see our ultra leather area here, hang placed here to hang your jackets when you come in. We've also got a light built in right here, all done in ultra leather wrap. We also have all of our light switches right here, so this is your outside service center, turn that off and on. Here we've got our beautiful rope lighting going through the cabinets. Very nice. This is our on and off for our step. So camp mode, driving mode. And then here we've got our switch for our light and the outside light. Above the kitchen galley, we've got our fantastic fan with built-in rain sensor. Nice little feature to have. If you're outside walking, it starts to rain, it'll automatically close. And I love this. We have, of course, our opening skylight. Look at that beautiful blue sky and that sun. Here in Manitoba, once in a while, we have to put this across so we can have the fresh air and no mosquitoes. And then if you're down in the hot sun, like it is today, it's kind of cool to have some fresh air and not heat up the motorhome. So very smart, or you can go half and half. We have some more storage up here. Once again, European hidden hinges, soft closed doors, and storage up here. We got a little place here for magazines. That's very, very smart. Up above here, push, they open up. We have our leisure travel van, owner's manuals all in here, including the second set of keys. Very nice, lots of storage space up here. We have our optional safe right there. Keep all your passports in there. More storage up above here. For 2019, we have our brand new Jensen stereo system. Very excited about that. So we've got uh, four speakers in this unit, which we can control front and back. CD player, DVD player. It's also streaming Bluetooth off your smartphones. So everything is right here. It's easy to use. It has an HDMI plug and a USB charging plug. I think you're gonna absolutely love the Serenity for the versatility of sleeping, versatility of space. You can have four or five people in the back area. We can have four or five people up in the front area. You can see the two chairs turn and swivel. That's what I love about the Mercedes-Benz swivel. You can see is that they become part of the living room area. But this also becomes a beautiful double bed, 48 inches wide by almost 82 inches long. So if you have guests over, you need to sleep two more people. It's beautiful. Plus it has two seat belts so I can drive four people belted when I'm going down the highway. So very simple to make into a bed. We have a little instruction diagram for the cushions right there. We just pull this out this pulls across for the base very smart this slides over here and this pulls up and over and look at this I've got a base for a bed so put all the cushions in place according to the diagram and look at this 48 inches wide over 80 inches long all done in ultra leather super comfortable oh I really like it look at this lots of room we can sleep here I can sleep here I think I could turn my chairs like this. I could actually sleep like this. This is actually pretty cool.
So a nice big front living bed area. If you need a second space to sleep, you've got it on a Serenity. So from a bed area back into a dining room area, the brand new table mount for 2019 on the Serenity is fabulous. The mount can go at the back or it can come up front for dinner. Put the bar in place, lock it in place. Then our beautiful Serenity table just locks in place right like this. And I can lock it in tighter or I can leave it swiveling and look at this, has the leafs. I can also drop it down lower, which is quite simple to do. Any position that I want. Great for playing cards, having dinner. If I wanna walk around the motorhome, look, lots of room. Get stuff from the fridge. Can also leave it in, slide it over here if I wanna work on, on a laptop or a computer. Man, it's very versatile, I love it. It gets out of the way too, and then I have all of this living space. Great design for 2019 on the Serenity, the brand new table design. As far as having dinner or playing cards, having friends over, look how much room you have. The two chairs turn and swivel face into the motorhome. One, two, three, four, five people. And these seats are so comfortable. All done in ultra leather. Once again, we have three different colors of ultra leather. This is the coal. We also have the fog and the pebble. All French stitched together. And as we swivel back across, we can have a look at the Mercedes-Benz chassis. And of course, we only use the Mercedes-Benz swivels. Look how simple they are to turn and swivel around. See, what a great chassis. Look how much room I have built in map lights, lights in the front area here. Lots of little storage areas here. Cup holders here, down below, up in the dash. So lots of cup holders when you're driving. I love the uh, smart wheel. We got all the controls right on the steering wheel. I can see what's going on. Miles per gallon, how far I've traveled, where I'm going, how much fuel I have left. Everything is right here at my fingertips. I can control my radio. We have streaming Bluetooth and it goes down the highway. 188 horsepower. 325 foot-pounds of torque, 170 inch wheelbase. You can tow up to 5,000 pounds. Five-speed automatic transmission. You can gear it up and down right here on the controller. Tilt steering, telescopic steering, navigation system, Mercedes-Benz nav system right here. You can also watch your backup camera when you're parked or when you're driving down the road if you want to see it. When you put it in reverse, it will automatically go in or you can leave it on all the time. You can even bring music with you on an SD card, plug it in. We have roadside assist benefits, so you've got technical support, RV support, you've got lockout, you've got fuel, tire repair, all 1-800 number, they'll come and do it for you. Another little feature, of course, we have My LTV on our website for all of our owners. They can uh, sign up online. We have great photo contests and we have lots of product resources on our website, walkthrough videos, service centers and you can also join one of our travelers clubs my ltv great little service to have lots of fun too so we've got air conditioning power windows power locks all the conveniences that you'd want to have in your motorhome well you're going to love the ergonomics of this chassis look i can move from front to back and i'm six foot one and i'm not bumping my head i love that chassis if you're looking for a small motorhome i think this is the one private bathrooms stand-up shower dry bath two sleeping areas, four seat belts, big galley, big fridge. I mean, look at the space that we have. I mean, it is hot. Hey, thank you very much for watching the 2019 Serenity video. We do appreciate everybody that watches all of our videos. You gotta take one out for a test drive. Go to your local leisure travel van dealer. Take out the Mercedes-Benz chassis for a drive on the Serenity. Pin quiet when you're driving it. You're absolutely gonna love it. I can't wait to see you guys go out there and start enjoying this. Life does not have an expiry date, it just happens. Go get yourself a leisure travel van Serenity and go start enjoying the great outdoors. Dean from Leisure Travel Van, see you next time. You can configure your leisure travel van today with all of the options and colors that you may want. And you can price it out and know exactly what you're getting in your leisure travel van.